Hi, this is Trish from Papa Vibes Photography here in Sydney. I'm really excited about a new skin fixing technique that I've come across recently and I just had to share. One of the biggest problems us newborn photographers face is fixing babies' skins, especially in close-up photos such as this one. With traditional skin fixing techniques, we lose the details because we're making all the changes on the one layer. Whether we're cloning, blurring, noise reduction or brushing, we lose all the important little details such as little skin fluff on the cheeks and the arms and for me personally, I absolutely love little nose pimples. So you can imagine my excitement when I found a way of fixing skin by separating out the skin texture and the skin tones and fixing them separately. It's called frequency separation. This allows you to fix the skin discoloration and blotchiness without affecting the details and the texture of the skin. Alright, so let's begin. We'll be working with this image on my screen, which is from the latest session that I did with this little man. Um, he's absolutely adorable. Look at those squishy lips. Um, and as you can see, we've got a bit of nose pimples that we really want to keep. We've got you know, cheek fluff, we've got arm fluff, and we really don't want to get rid of these details. But we do want to get rid of the skin peeling. Um, we do want to get rid of some of these little pimples. Um, and obviously we've got quite a bit of skin discoloration that we really want to um, smooth out. But the great thing about this particular photo is this skin redness actually comes out beautiful as natural cheek blush. So I don't actually have to add that afterwards. So we'll be going from this to this. Um, and as you can see, um, as I toggle between um, turning um, the effects on and off, you'll see that um, the details such as the little fur and the little fluff and the little pimples, they all remain. But we've smoothed out the skin and we've also gotten rid of the peeling and the little um, additional skin blemishes as well. So how do we do this? So we'll start with the raw image. Now this is straight out of camera. You can see mum's arms there propping him up um, and a bit of blanket in the background. But this is straight out of the camera. It's the raw image. Um, so let's bring it in a little bit closer. Now the first thing that we do is we actually need to create two additional layers. Um, one will be for the skin texture and the other one will be for the skin smoothing um, and removing the discoloration. So simply by hitting Control J twice, um, you've created two extra layers. Your top layer will be the skin texture layer and the bottom layer will be your skin smoothing layer. And what I'd like to do is actually group them together so that way I can toggle between off and on so I can see how I'm adjusting um, the changes as well. So it's just a simple case of selecting both and hitting Control G um, and that will group them together. Okay, we're going to start with skin smoothing. Um, so we're going to turn off the skin texture layer. Uh, and then we're going to go with blur and Gaussian blur. Now the first blur that we do is actually between 10 and 15. We might go a little bit higher in that particular range. We might go with 14. And as you can see with this blur, it's already smoothing out the discoloration and smoothing out the tones. Of the skin. So we'll add that as okay. Now with the skin texture layer there's a little bit more involved so we'll turn it on and select skin texture and then we're going to go to image and apply image and what we're actually doing here is subtracting the texture on the skin from the smoothing below. So we need to select the layer that we're removing the smoothing from and that is the skin smoothing texture makes it easier with this naming. So what you need to do is select skin smoothing or the underlying layer. For blending we need to select subtract. For scale we do 2 and for offset is 128 and that's all you need to do. Now you may notice this looks like a high pass. It actually is a high pass um, with two blending modes. So apply image allows you to um, apply two blending modes. So the first one will be your subtract blending and then we go to the second blending, which is up here, and we go from normal to linear light. And there you have it. Now, if I toggle off what we've just done and have a look at the underlying layer or the original image, there's pretty much no difference. And that's what we want to do. We've actually separate, separated out the original image 
and done the underlying skin smoothing and then we've separated out the texture as well. So these two combined are the exact same image as your underlying image but now we can actually go ahead and change the tones and change the discoloring and we can then look at the texture and fix the textual problems as well. And how brilliant is that? So what I do next is I turn off my texture layer and I add in an additional Gaussian blur um, layer with additional blur. So Control J, the skin smoothing layer, and then we go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then we increase the blur. And you pretty much increase the blur until a point where you're happy with the skin blending um, and the skin tonality that it just blends in nice and smoothly. Now this part here sort of sticks out a little bit. We'll have a look at whether that needs extra work or not. But essentially you don't need to worry about the details and the sharpness of it because it's already contained in your skin texture layer. So we'll click on OK. 35 is about right. I've done this a few times and each time it's come up as 35. But essentially just adjust the blur to the point where the skin blends in rather nicely with the colours and the blotchiness. Now we're going to add a mask to this because we don't want this sort of blur across the whole image. So holding down Alt on your keyboard, we add in a mask. Okay, Then we can turn back the texture. And then we paint in the areas that we really want to smooth out. Okay, so we go to white paintbrush at 100% opacity. And we'll start off with the cheeks. And as you can see, it's just smoothing out the blotchiness and giving it a nice textured skin, not textured, smooth. Colours. Colours are blending. We go to the arms. And as you can see, the skin colours are smoothing out, but we're not actually losing any details. The little fluff, arm fluff, is still there. The cheek fluff is still there. All the pimples, even the skin peeling, is still there in all its detail. Okay. So now you can see that the skin is pretty, pretty nicely evened out. I actually like the highlights across the nose and the mouth. So I can just change it to my black brush and put them back in. And also do that up here and bring it all back in. The other great thing is if you sort of want to blend it in a little bit more, if there's too much change between a highlight and a coloured area, you can just decrease the opacity of your brush and just add in a little bit or as much as you want. So if I delete it again and go, I can add in 25% of 36, 25% opacity, just to blend in the highlights a little bit better without completely losing them. And I can also do that on the hand as well. So it's not a big um, blur addition, it's just a minor one. And that's the great thing about adding in an additional layer with an additional mask. You can add in as much or as little as you want in places that you want and it's not applied across the whole image and it's just the quickest way of doing it. So we're just going to fix up this little area here which is a little bit red and I like to call this my skin powder technique but it's just brushing, brushing in a colour over that particular area. So what we do here is we do a control shift N to add in an um, additional layer. We can call it powder skin. I always call it powder skin. Okay, then we just sample a color off the skin. Okay, we might go with something close to what we want to change. Maybe a little bit darker. Okay, we go to our paintbrush, decrease opacity to about 25% and just brush it on. There you go. Okay, And you can also do that to the forehead as well if you want to lighten up the forehead a little bit.
And once again, if you want to sort of blend it in a little bit better, just add a layer mask and you use the black brush to blend it in. And you can do that with any sort of area of the face that you actually want to brighten up. So if this particular area is a little bit too dark for you, sample a lighter colour in the vicinity of the area and just brush it in. And there you go. So now we've got the skin colours beautifully smoothed and blending in nicely. So this is the original. You can see the splotchiness. And now you can see that the, the skin is nice and smooth and the colours sort of blend in a little bit better. Um, you can work on reducing a bit of the red up here as well. So we might just go and add in this colour. Just a little bit of red reduction there. Okay, go back on here and just blend it in a little bit better. And there you have it. So the skin, nicely blended. So now what we want to do is fix up the skin texture. So we want to get rid of the peeling of the skin and maybe a few blemishes. And all you have to do is clone it. So just sample where you want to clone from and you just clone it out. And you do that without losing any texture details at all from the skin. Absolutely love this technique. So we might want to get rid of some of that. A few pimples in here. There's a few pimples in here. Um, we've got the nose peeling. And how beautiful is that? We might get rid of this one here a little bit on the eyes. And none of that beautiful little detail is gone. It's all still there. Got a little bit of black marks up here, little spot there. Beautiful. So this is where you want your original straight out of camera image to be but obviously some of the biggest problems we have is baby skin hang on there's a little spot here that we want to fix up I think but look at that all the details of the skin has been retained and if we once again go from the original to what we've done absolutely love this so that's it how amazing is that transformation and how amazing is it that we're now able to retain a lot of the detail that we've lost with traditional skin fixing techniques. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps create amazing, unique images for your amazing new families. If you have any questions, just send me an email. My email is located in the description below or post it in the comments. Otherwise, like this video, subscribe, share. And in the meantime, if you have any ideas for videos or tutorials, please let me know. Again, in the comments below or send me an email. Thanks again, we'll be posting up another video for you shortly.